Well, hello folks, how are you? It's so late that I've got my pyjamas on. <laughs> we had uh, some... Uh, ah, too long a story. Loading more software in, um, and updating some stuff and I had to call quits on it because it was taking too long. So that I could do this and we can get it loaded up. It's half past nine. So it's going to be, yeah, late midnight before we get it loaded up um oh yeah just getting a bit of a sound up here yeah so um yeah, pretty late. The sun's gone down. We're checking out for the foxes. We were out giving a round of applause. Uh, no sign of the foxes. Uh, the little baby foxes. No sign. I can see folks next door looking. Um, so, yeah. Um, all good. Going to pick up a couple of more bikes from my friend Alan tomorrow. So we'll get two more bikes. That is wunderbar. And things are pretty quiet out there. It's not as busy on on uh, on Prick Bridge. <laughs> um, so yeah, not a lot to, to be happening up there. But let's uh, let's start with a wee song. Um, I'm going to start with a wee Caesar song. <laughs> got a nice picture of my friend uh, Jim, Jim Martin, who's looking better. As we know, Jim was uh, in hospital with the dreaded word that we won't talk about. The thing that people like Dominic Cummings ignore, tricks like that. guilty of doing things myself but yeah as I say St Peter won't be waiting for me darling so deep deep in the night she'll go anywhere lost up in fights she'll say
Into the night. Yeah, nice. I like that wee song. Uh, I'm going to get my... Hold on. Hold on. I'm ill prepared. Ah, I'm going to get my little book. Let's see the foxes are there. No. No little foxes tonight, folks. Not so far anyway. I still think they'll hear it. Um, ah, here we go. So, the sound of the silences. This is the sound of the silences. La, 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 la. Jimmy with his bonnet on. Who's that wee guy? Now, that was a few years ago. A couple of stone ago. Yeah. <laughs> ah, where does the time go? Where does it go? So it says, from Beirut with a song of love. When former Beirut hostage Brian Keenan was released from captivity, millions of words were written about him. But Keenan's chance meeting with the silencers has inspired one of the best love songs I've ever heard. I don't know who wrote this. Um, doesn't say. In May, the silencers released the fourth album, its working title is Unconscious, and although the tapes are still under wraps, I've had a sneak preview. It's an outstanding record, and the most impressive track is a stunning ballad called Seller of Dreams. It was written by Jimmy O'Neill after Silencer's vocalist met Silencer's vocalist Jinky Gilmore met Keenan in Donegal. Jinky told me Brian had a had been locked in a tiny wee cupboard for about about five years in pitch darkness. But by using his imagination, he could transform it into anything he wanted. It came, it could become a green field or a starry sky. One day I was in Jimmy's house. I went into the cupboard under his stairs to get something. It really came home to us what it must have been like. I've read this out before, I think. And Jimmy said, it's probably the best album we've ever written. I have read it out before because I was contradicting that as well. I wrote it as a love song, but it's really a contrast of ideas like every song I write. The Silences will play the Glasgow Royal Concert Hall on May the 16th as part of the city's annual Mayfest. Tickets priced at £10. Snap. Jimmy rates the album, which deals with such diverse topics as adulation, bereavement and politics, as the strongest record the group have made. He said, we've gone back to being a real rock guitar band, a beat group for the 90s. Our aim is to write songs with a classic pop identity. When I watch Ready Steady Go now, it makes more sense to me than Top of the Pops. Yeah, I'm sure I read that out before. Um, uh -huh. Scotsman Peter Vitesse, who used to play with Jethro Tull, crops up in a different guise this week. He's written a comeback. For former teenage heartthrob Chesney Hawks called What's Wrong With The Picture. There we go. He's a, another name drop there. Chesney, an old friend of mine. A new friend, actually. Might try and get Chesney for the next uh, uh, Butte song. We're trying to get Butte song all sorted uh, for 2021. And I was in touch with another great American singer-songwriter, um... Uh, well, I haven't been in touch with her yet, but my friend has on my behalf. So, fingers crossed we have her. Be nice to have Chesney. Be good to her. Get, um, one year I'm going to bring along young Fran Healy. And uh, I would, I'd love to bring him along. And I'd like to bring John Lawler along as well from, um, from the Fratellis. Now, here's a gig. Vendredi, Juliette, Nouf Juliette. Uh, and on the main stage at six o'clock were the silencers. And then Jacques Dutronic, uh, Dutronc. And then finishing the evening off was the Beach Boys. How cool is that? Um, yeah, that was good. That was in, I think that was in Switzerland. It doesn't say. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, the piano. 
piano's playing. Um, so yeah, um, silencers. David Belcher, I've got, I think I've read that out. Um, yeah. Oh, some pictures there. Look at these pictures. Silence is golden, golden in its own little way. Silence is golden. Some hairy onsens there. If I hold that there for a while, you could pause it on your TV and read it. You can read it yourself. And then there's one there. What's that say? Magic sound of silencers. There's a magic in the air. Oh yes, you know it's true. There you go. If I hold that there, you can read it. You can pause it and read it. There you go. Splendid. That'll save me reading it and making an arse of myself because I don't read very well. Um, yeah. So should we sing another little song? Debbie from Derbyshire asked me to sing this song. It's a long, long time since I've sang this song. A long, long time ago since I sang this song and how the people used to know. Let's, come on, behave. There we go, I think that should do it. Um, I don't have a pick. Sorry. Play it with the fingers. Yeah. Where'd you drop the anchor When you lost at sea When you look for answers You can always find me When you see a city I'm going to tune this up actually because it's not behaving. I'm pull my, I'm going to pull my pyjamas up a bit. I hate playing. I hate playing a guitar out of tune. And it's all out of tune. Especially when you're tuning the wrong one. you drop the anchor when you lost the sea still out of tune that's better when you drop the anchor when you lost at sea when you look for answers you can always find me When you see the city falling to the ground When the lights go out in Tinseltown Cause I am a rock under the sea I am the plague, I'm the disease I am the monsters inside your head Creep inside your head When you see a fighter Moving for the kill When the rope gets tighter And blood starts to spill When you see a mother oh. 
when a wound gets deeper and the truth gets lost I'll be on your shoulder you'll be double crossed cause I am a rock under the sea I am the plague I'm the disease I am the monster under your bed I'll creep inside your head Cause I am the needle into the vein I am the dealer dealing the pain I am the face you put out the light, I'll be around tonight Where'd you drop the anchor When you lost at sea when you look for answers, you can always find me. When you see a city falling to the ground, when the lights go out in Tinsel Town, I am a rock under the sea. I am the plague, I'm the disease I am the monsters under your bed I'll creep inside your head I'll creep inside your head Creep inside your head Yeah I just saw my neighbour out there. She was looking to see if the foxes were there. And I'm not sure that they are. I'm not seeing much fox activity. Um, I think she was just having a look. Uh, to see if the old fox was there. The, the old foxes. But I don't see them. Um, no. So it's not happening. Let me read... The classic, the classic poem known as the British favourite, the Rudyard Kipling. If I was reading a wee bit about Rudyard Kipling today, you know how um, we, uh, most countries claim whoever they can claim. Uh, well, Rudyard Kipling was actually born in India um, of what was said to be a Scottish mother and an English father. His father, I think, was from Yorkshire. Um, but I always loved this poem, and it's you know, um, it, you know, it's just it's a great poem. I'm sure you all know it, but uh, you know, as I say, I just open this book at whatever page I open it at, uh, and today was the F. So here we go. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowances for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them with worn out tools if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foe nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, 
if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. A great, fantastic poem. Thank you very much, Mr Kipling. And tell you what, he makes exceedingly good cakes as well. Oh, there's the fox. There she is, there's the mother. And she's running away because she sees she sees people coming over the Pricks Bridge when they've spotted her. Um, she's there. So it says here, uh, conditions need for moral guidance, also suitable for uh, ambitiousness, arrogance, failure, lack of self-belief, loss of sense of self. If by Richard Kipling is the UK's favourite poem by pretty much any metric. It wins every poll, and which is more, a couplet from the poem is inscribed above the player's entrance to Wimbledon Centre Court. You don't get any more British than that. Whenever I read poems to people, particularly my children, this is the one that they've asked to hear again. This is the one that's inspired them most. If encodes a lot of what, at least according to our folklore, makes up our national identity, and yet it's about so much more than just Britishness. There's a nobility and a fortitude to the character Kipling sketches here that can resonate with anyone any of any culture. Someone who is self-effacing, kind, thoughtful, brave, spirited, productive and ultimately true to him despite the of its time final line herself. Um, oh yeah, because I think that's referencing to the fact that, that he mentions and you'll be a man, my son, as if it's a sort of more male. I think that's what Mr. Uh, William Seacart is alluding to. The person Kipling describes is accessible and generous and yet in some deeply personal way they are untouchable. Triumph and disaster, kings and crowds can all distort the way we see ourselves, but none of them is under our control. Kipling's figure looks on them with all equanimity. We must remember that our successes and the esteem of others do not change who we are at our core and should lead us neither into arrogance nor into self-doubt. Kipling advises us to hold true to what we are, even in the face of corrupting influences. He reminds us that we have whole worlds within ourselves and that we alone are the masters of them. No outside influence, no person or circumstance can touch these interior worlds within our permi without our permission. Neither foes nor loving friends can hurt us if we have enough strength, if we have a strong enough sense of of self. That's a great lesson for us all. For all of us, sorry, that's a great lesson for all of us. So there we are, the old poetry pharmacy there. Fantastic book. Let me just have a quick check to see why the mother's running about there. See where the wee babies are. Um, I don't see her little babies, but she's running around. She's uh, um, she's obviously. I think they're out and about. I, th I think the, the wee the wee cubs are out and about. I will get those videos up. It's very hard for me to to put to put videos up at the moment. I just can't. I can't do it because um, Facebook still won't answer my request. Um. I'm going to play you this song. Love this song. Written by the fantastic Eels or Mark Everett. Wonderful. I think you'll like it. It's a great song. It's a motherfucker being here without you. Thinking of the good times. Thinking of the It's a mother 
motherfucker Getting through someday Talking to the walls It's just me again It's a motherfucker How much I understand The feeling that you need someone To take you by the hand You won't ever They don't call it again Be the same It's a motherfucker Being here without you Thinking about the good times Thinking about the bad And I won't ever be the same I won't ever be the same I promise I'll learn you that song properly. That is a beautiful song. I won't ever be the same. I'll learn it. I'll learn it and play it, play it properly tomorrow for you. That was a poor attempt. Mark Everett, I humbly apologise. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think... Uh, I think we're uh, we're getting close to uh, going back out and going back to work and stuff. So I think we'll maybe set a wee date. Um, uh, I think things are getting back to normal on Monday. So, or not normal. I mean, there's going to be a new normal. But I think on maybe on Monday or Tuesday, we can sort of start to, to slow down a little bit on the vlogs. I know I've really enjoyed them. I hope you've really enjoyed them. But I think we can all sort of get back to our lives and and um and and try and get introduced into some sense of normality and um get back to you know looking at gigs and organizing gigs again i've really enjoyed this i've really enjoyed the whole process of just uh, uh chatting away to you each night and just having a bit of fun and um you know showing you a wee bit of my world you know the pricks bridge and the train to largs that hasn't gone by tonight which is good because it might run over those little baby foxes. Um, yeah, and just generally bringing you into my little world and my wee home and um, telling you some stories about the silencers. And it's been lovely. I've really enjoyed it and, and I'll miss doing it. Um, but I think, you know, you know, as of like Monday, I think things are, shops are starting to open and people are going back to work and stuff. So it'll be a good time. Maybe, maybe we'll do we'll do until the end of next week and then we'll call it we'll call it call time on it and we'll find out who's won the competition and of which we have to we have to um ask a, a question tonight um let's uh um let's go for the competition tonight to uh, if you're a fan you'll know this where was my album slow commotion recorded and who was the bass player on the album wonderful bass player wonderful big man as well um so that's today's question in fact why don't we double it up who was the drummer as well the drummer on slow commotion and the the bass player two fantastic musicians uh who once told me their nickname was thelma and louise because they were often called that they, they used to leave the gigs they leave the the venues right after the gigs and they would drive home together so they were nicknamed uh, Thelma and Louise which I thought was a brilliant nickname so yeah that's tonight's question um I think we'll leave it we're a wee bit we're only in like 30 odd minutes tonight but 
I'm late in doing it. I'll be late in putting it up. Apologies. Um, uh, as always, if you can give a little bit to the food bank, you know, as we go back to life and we go back to going outdoors a little more, um, I think we'll, you know, uh, we'll tend to forget these things. I'm going to go and get some more bikes tomorrow. I'll keep putting this appeal up. If you can give me bikes, I'll take them. Please, I'll, I've been speaking to the guy, Alan, and uh, so uh, uh, um, who I give the bikes to. And then tomorrow I'm going to pick some more bikes up in Paisley because you can do that now um, um, from my dear friend, Alan. So thank you for that. Um, Big Andy McSwiggin, you got your George Best uh, uh, thing that we, the, the, the programme, you got that through, so that was good. Um, uh, I want to thank you, especially for that beautiful little bike that someone so kindly donated. You know who you are. It was such a, such a generous thing to do. It has gone to the wee five-year-old girl on Sunday, so we're really pleased about that. I think I've mentioned that. Um, and lastly, if you need any handwritten lyrics, please let me know. Still getting great orders for them. I'm really appreciated. You might be able to see just behind me on top of the counter. There's some tubes there and all kinds of stuff that, that I have to arrange and get them all in there and post them out. So that's I'm really grateful for that. Thank you very much. Uh, but for the moment, no large train. I can't put the pictures of the wee foxes or the videos of the wee foxes up because it won't let me load videos for some bizarre reason but anyway as always toodaloo the new in my pajamas <laughs> <laughs>